All right, we're back. So, um, hold on. All right, we're not gonna do the puzzle just yet because we still need to uh, get the other plug. Okay. And then how many other full heal items do we have? One, two, three, four. We still have four full healing items. Um, I'd like a little bit more than that, but it's not terrible. It's not a terrible place to be at. And honestly, between this and especially with uh, Leon A, we've been in far worse situations than this. So... But no, seriously, this is bullcrap. These two should not be back. I specifically killed them. Well, and the other thing is, like, it... Like, it looks like his, his original body is still here. He's got the same uniform on and everything. I think the game just spawned in another version of him. I mean, I don't know. I guess, did the game think it was going to be too easy for me or something? I mean, I don't think that's fair. I feel like if I... If I preemptively take them out, I should be rewarded for that by not having to deal with them. Oh wait, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I went the wrong way. Uh. Alright. That's okay. I know where I'm at and I know where to go. It's fine. I just went the wrong way. I tend to do that a lot. I have a really bad sense of direction. This is where we need to go. Call the elevator down. plugs. Let's go back. We need to go back now and do the puzzle. And then we can fight G2 Birkin and save Sherry. And once we save Sherry, it's on to the Umbrella Research Lab. Now we need to 
get all the plugs out. We've already got one of them with us. Okay, so let's see, it looks like, I have to consult some more notes here, so it looks like on the left wall, the order goes Queen, Bishop, and King. So, um, you know what, here, let's do like last time and just grab all the plugs out, and then there should be one over here. Okay, so on the left, it's Queen, Bishop, and King. Okay. Then on the right, it's Pawn, Rook, Knight.
Try this. We try putting them in on, in reverse on the opposite sides. Facing the knight right at the end, and the king ain't where the case marking says. So.
So hold on, I now have like, I have a visual thing up that, I have a thing that visually shows you. So on this wall, it's supposed to be knight, rook, and then pawn. Oh wait. Not this wall. Okay, knight. Rook. Pawn. Alright. And then on this wall, it's supposed to be... supposed to be Queen, Bishop, King. There we go. Alright, Sherry. I'm on my way. Alright. Okay, we're not going to use this weapon for the fight. Actually, you know what? Yes, we are. Let me go ahead and take those back. Um, here, I'm only going to bring, like, ten bullets, though. I'm going to go put that knife away. We're gonna, we're gonna equip this because, hold on. Okay. We're gonna make sure that's equipped because if we stick our knife into Birkin, we're likely not gonna get it back. So we'll go ahead and keep it as a backup, but this is what we want to be equipped. Um, we're not gonna use the spark shot on him, but... But we are going to get is where's the SLD sixty? Here we go. And let's just take five bullets. You know what? Make it, uh, yeah. That way we still have two full clips of that, plus seven of these. Okay. Alright. Okay. And we have a full healing item. I don't think we should need more than one, I mean... We all remember how easy this fight was last time. We shouldn't need more than one full healing item for this. Especially since, if I'm not mistaken... Yep, we get to make another full healing item down here anyways. Because once we go through here, there should be a red herb right here. Alright, so now we have two full healing items. Uh, one of them which we just made. Uh, two defensive items, three weapons, all of which we have plenty of ammo for. I think we're ready to do this. So, here we go. Uh, I believe it's one, two, and four. There we go. All right, let's do this. Shit. And then, yeah, 
just like last time, we're gonna stay right here. And as soon as Birkin opens the door, we're gonna make a run for it. sooner than that. Six rounds of that left. use exactly 50 bullets. That's crazy. And that's it. Yeah, truth be told, we didn't, we honestly didn't need to bring as much ammo as we did. taking forever. Okay, nothing left here to get. So, yeah. About as easy as it was last time, and honestly, I think I did better than I did last time. She can't be saved. 
fucking kidding me? You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him... This conversation is over! Wait! Wait! I, I can treat her. In my lab. It's not far away. Mommy? There's not enough time. Millions of lives are at stake. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. Goodbye. Are you fucking kidding me? Sherry, don't worry. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Oh, why are you doing this? Because I care. Thank you, Claire. That's where William came from, so we can't go that way. Annette said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. And once again, since we have Sherry with us, we unfortunately uh, can't Gosh. save, we can't do anything with our inventory. But that's okay, because once we get to the lab, uh, we'll be able to do whatever inventory management we need to do. That's why, uh, honestly, if there's anything you need to do, we'll run around and get before, um, before the Birkin fight. You really need to do it before you fight G2 Birkin. Because... I mean, I, I guess you could do it at this point, uh, once you set Sherry down, and then the game kind of gives you its final warning of, hey, if there's anything you need to do, if you want to check around in the sewers or go back to the RPD again, anything you need to do, you need to do it now because you won't get another chance after this. So, you could do all that now. The problem is that, with Sherry being infected and everything, the game creates such a sense of urgency out of it all. Yeah, but the thing is, the game creates such a sense of urgency out of all of this that it's hard to turn away and be like, well, I'll just leave Sherry here, I'm going to go back to the RPD and get some bullets or something, <laughs> you know? So... just fine without me, until I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. It's from my mom. For my birthday last year. All I really wanted was for her to be home more. I know it seems like your mom doesn't care, but... Uh, hey, uh, Sherry, come uh, here. Uh, uh, hey, hang in there, okay? Now, arriving at night. Uh, uh, it's okay. I've got you. Come on. Alright. 
getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. I also like the different ways and the reasons they find to give both Claire and Leon uh, alternate alternate uh, looks later on. You know, Leon looks different because, you know, Ada had to treat his bullet wounds, so she had to, like, cut off his sleeves and whatnot. And it kind of gives him a bit of a... It gives him kind of a bit of a battle-hardened look, and it's really cool. With uh, Claire, you know, she, she gives her jacket to Sherry to help, you know, keep her warm. And so she goes the rest of the game with just her tank top on, and again, it gives her a bit of a hardened badass kind of look. Especially seeing her, you know, armed to the teeth with, like, 5,000 weapons. Now what? There's gotta be something here. Antiviral agent. That's it. That's gotta be it. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Sherry. I gotta go. You stay right here, though, okay? I'll be back soon. I promise. One flame round, wow. <laughs> Obviously we can't shoot Sherry. take another one of these just so I can heal myself up um, we're really low on bullets on that so Flashbang. Uh, we'll put the Magnum up. And we're going to put that back up. Put that knife up. Put that heel there. Still got six bullets left in the JMP. So here. bullets for that. Okay. And then we should still have like 10 acid rounds, right? Yeah. So, <clears throat> and the thing is, uh, there's only really one boss fight where we're, where we're gonna need acid rounds again. So, I think what we'll probably end up doing, the next time we can make more, uh, craft more ammo, uh, we're just gonna make more handgun bullets. Uh, I think we've I think we've done good I think we've done a good enough job of keeping our acid rounds stocked uh, and at full at ten that I don't think we should have to I don't think we should have to craft any more so
for the uh, spark launcher as good of a weapon as that actually is like that actually is a pretty good weapon I think we're just gonna save that for uh, G3 Birkin excellent I got plenty of knives, you can keep that one. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Kevin. I'm gonna go ahead and carry that with us, cuz we should be running to... We should be running into more, uh... Oh, actually... Something else we can do. Uh, we've only got two shots left in this, so let's go ahead and put that up. And let's go ahead and take this back, and we'll just take the rest of our handgun bullets. And like I said, once we find another set of gunpowder, we'll be able to make some more. Yeah. Oh, nice. Antiviral agents in the west area. I can't believe we're already almost done with Claire B. I think this is a good place for us to finally end this session off and call it a night. Um, hmm. Okay. I was trying to see if I had any more, like, red herbs or something else with me, but it looks like we don't. So, we'll go ahead and hold on to this, just in case we do. We know how to use the signal modular, modulator, so we'll hold on to that as well. We've got plenty of bullets, SMG bullets. And we also now have plenty of handgun bullets and uh, uh, handgun. Uh, just our handgun is full, 
and we've got plenty of handgun bullets as well. So we're looking like we're in a pretty good spot, uh, and then we've, got, we've also got plenty of magnum bullets for our makeshift magnum as well, and uh, we've even got an extra flame round in addition to the ones in the chamber for our grenade launcher. Uh, spark shots full, and we've got almost a full set of uh, needle cartridges left. So, yeah, it's looking like when uh, the fight with uh, G3 Burka comes up, we are going to be armed to the teeth. So, yeah. We're looking like we're in a pretty good spot right now. So let's go ahead and drop another save here. And let me also... We're only up to 13 saves. This is great, and in fact, I think I feel good enough. We're going to go ahead and make a second one here, and overwrite that one. Because if you remember, I had said that I'd wanted to come out of this scenario with no more than 30 saves, uh, 30 to 33 saves. We're almost done, and we're not even halfway there at that point yet. So, I think we're doing excellently. Uh, we're doing so much better than we did in the last scenario with Leon. We've got a lot of ammo for all of our weapons. We've got plenty of resources, healing, uh, defensive weapons, and everything. We're just we're doing so much better at this point, and I'm really, really proud of myself for doing that. Uh, just, just for having fun and being able to show this with all of you. So that's all well and good. Like I said, I think we've got a really good start off to the final section of Resident Evil 2 Remake Clear B Scenario. And, uh... So, yeah, uh, we need to go... I know what we need to do for next time. We need to go in there. We'll need to start getting that uh, other upgrade. We'll need to put those codes into the wall over there and uh, open those two, uh, two other areas. And, of course, collect more weapons, ammos, and supplies along the way. And eventually, we're going to need to unlock that door from the other side because if we try to go in there now, we can't. So, and all that will lead to another epic conclusion with two, no, I'm sorry, three fights with uh, William Birkin, and uh, two of them we've not seen. Um, and it'll be interesting to get to show you guys what those fights are like, because they are really, really awesome. Uh, so yeah, that is going to do it for this episode of Resident Evil 2 Remake Clear B Scenario. I'm having a lot of fun with this, guys, but we're going to go ahead and end this off here. So, this is Mr. Effect Film signing off for now. Uh... Yeah, guys, this is we're we're doing great. We're coming up on the end, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wait till next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here, and until next time, everybody, peace on out.